let's not waste any time we're getting to four big fight predictions today and we're going to start with the one i just mentioned fight seven to me other than gamrot versus Jalen turner matouche gamrot that is that's one of the fights of the night trust me when i tell you it's going to surprise a lot of people we told you Jalen turner wins that fight but now let's get into fight seven this is the other fight of the night to me Derek brunson versus Drakus duplessis check this out and be sure to react in the chat room in the middleweight division at UFC Fight Night, you got a pair of top 10 contenders in Derek Brunson, who comes in at 23 and 8, and Dreykus Duplessis, who comes in at a nice record of 18 and 2. Both guys stand 6 1. Derek Brunson, one inch reach advantage, 77 to 76. He's a southpaw. Duplessis can switch it up to both righty and lefty, and that's always a major advantage. He's also very active, 6.6 significant strikes per minute to three and a half per minute for Derek Brunson. But also both guys get a lot of takedowns over one per round. So takedown defense will be important here. Derek Brunson, 89% duplessis, just 50%. And that's not a good number, but that's only because the only guy to take him down was uh, Darren Till in his other fights. He had two KOs. So we really don't know too much. Uh, about the takedown defense for Duplessis, but we do know Derek Brunson uh, is at 89% solid. And this is over a long career. So he's going to defend takedowns and keep it standing. He's coming off the loss of Jared Cannonier, but before that he beat Darren Till, Kevin Holland, Edmund Shabazian, and Elias Theodoro. So he's won five of the last six total. You can throw an Ian Heinish in there as well. Now Duplessis is coming on fire, beating Marcus Perez to start, then Trevin Giles. Then Brad Tavares, and finally Darren Till, who he beat by a, a neck crank submission. So, you know, this guy's looking good, man, with four wins in a row, but he's running into a very tough Derek Brunson. But what I do like uh, is the fact that he has a lot of activity. If he can keep the fight standing, which is a big if, he doubles up Derek Brunson just about in terms of a striking ability. So I'm going to say he's going to stop the takedowns. It's only a three round fight. He might get taken down in one round, get control, but he'll win the other two to get the victory by close decision. But this will put him right in line potentially with being a top five caliber opponent. He's that good. Duplessis wins, in my opinion, to move to 19 and two. Middleweight division, UFC 285. Yeah, so when you look at uh, this fight, I mean, Dreykus Duplessis is for sure a top five contender in the middleweight division he just has to go out and prove it and it's not going to be easy against Derek brunson who's one of the best fighters in the division outside of adesanya and Pereira. i mean yeah you got marvin vittori and you got <coughs> excuse me paulo costa still in there but to me drake is duplessis is better than all those guys he's not <coughs> excuse me he's not better than hamza chamaya that's for sure nobody is but he is better than Derek Brunson. But again, he's got to go out and prove it. Guys get nervous in these situations. But I fully expect Rikers Duplessis to win this fight. I wouldn't put my prediction on it if that wasn't the case. Especially when he's a lower-ranked contender. Even though he's almost a 2-1 to favorite to win. He's still the lower-ranked contender. And Derek Brunson is going to have something to prove as well. So that's always important. But du Duplessis wins this fight. Can he win... Uh, by finish, that will be the big question. If he does, he's going to shoot up into the top five, no problem. What's up? This is your boy, Chris Cross. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button in one of the links below. Then, click on one of them clips up above and enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Peace.